So the topic for today's video is going to be solution of inexact differential equation. Now the equation that we are seeing is dy by dx is equal to x cube plus y cube divided by xy squared. So I am just going to rearrange the terms and write this equation in this way xy square into dy is equal to x cube plus y cube into dx and now I am going to further rearrange this so that it can be written in the form m dx plus n dy so this I will write it as x cube plus y cube dx shifting this term to the other side so this becomes minus xy square dy is equal to 0 right so we have rearranged the terms and written the equation in the form m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 now I am going to further refine this and write this as x cube plus y cube dx plus into bracket minus xy square dy is equal to 0. So now this equation is in the form m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. So this term we will call it as m and this term we will call it as n. Now first of all we will see whether the condition for exactness is being obeyed or not. So I will find dou m by dou y which is equal to which is equal to if you find this we are doing the integration of this term only we are doing the differentiation of this term only with respect to y. So this is 3y squared. Then we will find dou n by dou x. Now much is this? Integration is only with respect to x of this term. So this comes out to be minus y square. Obviously, obviously dou m by dou y is not equal to dou n by dou x. So this means that the given equation is inexact. So differential equation is inexact. So now the question is how we are going to solve this inexact differential equation. Uh, so for that we are going to follow those rules which was discussed in the earlier video of inexact differential equations part 1 rules for finding out integrating factor. So what you can do is you can go to the link in the description box below this video and there I have given you the link to that video as well. So you can refer to that link and just once again revise the rules for the finding out the integrating factor. So just now first thing we verified that the given equation which I am writing again now x cube plus y cube dx plus minus xy square dy is equal to 0 is inexact. So by referring to the earlier video you will of course know that we have to find the integrating factor which will make this equation exact and then we can solve it. So for doing that we are now going to check up which particular rule can be applied. So if you see the terms if you see the terms in the expression see x cube x cube then y cube then we have minus x y square degree of each term the degree of each term is 3 over here x raised to 1 this is we don't write it that way but it is actually x raised to 1 so 1 plus 2 that is 3 so degree of each term being 3 that means same so therefore therefore this equation is which type of equation 
homogeneous differential equation so along with being inexact it is also homogeneous so we are going to now apply the rule for the inexact homogeneous differential equation so according to the rule the integrating factor for the homogeneous equation which is inexact is given by if stands for integrating factor once again i urge you to revise the rules by referring to the earlier video which has been given in the description box below that means the link has been given so integrating factor is equal to 1 upon mx plus ny so we have to find the value of mx plus ny so in our case this is m and this is n so m is equal to x cube plus y cube and n is equal to minus x y square so we will find mx plus ny so i will multiply m by x so that means i am going to write x cube plus y cube into x plus ny so that is minus x y square into y and that is equal to x raised to 4 plus x y cube minus x y cube so then this is equal to both these terms will get cancelled so this is equal to x raised to 4 so the value of mx plus ny mx plus ny is equal to x raised to 4 so therefore the integrating factor is 1 upon mx plus ny which is equal to 1 upon x raised to 4. Now we are going to multiply the equation which has been given to us with this integrating factor which is 1 upon x raised to 4. So this is our equation. We just found out that integrating factor is equal to 1 upon x raised to 4. So we are going to multiply this equation throughout by 1 upon x raised to 4. So now this is x cube plus y cube multiplying by 1 upon x raised to 4 means dividing by x raised to 4. dx plus minus x y square divided by x raised to 4 dy is equal to 0. So we have multiplied throughout by 1 upon x raised to 4 to the given equation. Now this equation becomes 1 upon x plus y cube upon x raised to 4 dx plus minus y square divided by x cube dy is equal to 0. So this is the new equation and now we have to first of all we will verify whether it is exact and then we are going to solve making using making use of the same formula like we did for exact equations. So in this equation now m is 1 upon x plus y cube upon x raised to 4 n is minus y square divided by x cube so we will first find now whether the condition for exactness is being obeyed so dou m by dou y is equal to so x is being treated as a constant so its derivative will be 0 this x raised to 4 is also a constant so only this term has to be differentiated so this gives us dou m by dou y is equal to 3 y square divided by x raised to 4 now we will find dou n by dou n by dou x so we are differentiating now the n term this n term only with respect to x 
so you can take this x cube to the to the numerator by writing like this x raised to minus 3 and then find its derivative so here y square is a constant now derivative of x raised to minus 3 is minus 3 into x raised to minus 4 so minus and minus will become plus so here we will get 3y square and x raised to minus 4 I will just write it as divided by x raised to 4 so now we can see that dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x is equal to 3y square divided by x raised to 4 so the condition for exactness is obeyed and we can solve the equation just by using the earlier method which was discussed in the video on exact differential equations and once again I am giving the link to that video also in the description box and you can check up that video also just to revise your concepts. So, so far what we found? We found integrating factor is equal to 1 upon x raised to 4 and by using that integrating factor we were able to get the new equation in this form 1 upon x plus y cube divided by x raised to 4 dx plus into bracket minus y square divided by x cube dy is equal to 0. So this is our new equation and also we were able to prove that this has become an exact differential equation. So over here according to the exact differential equation solution is given by m dx plus integration of terms in n terms in n free from x dy is equal to c that is the solution once again you can refer to the exact differential equations video link which has been given in the description box so we are going to use this particular solution and then solve this solve the given differential equation which has now the earlier original one was this equation we used integrating factor multiplied integrating factor to this equation saw and proved that it is exact and now we are solving it so integration m is 1 upon x plus y cube divided by x raised to 4 dx now terms in n free from x so if we see n if we see n over here there is no term over here which is free from x so basically we don't have this so what I am going to do I am not going to at all write anything over here and I am just going to integrate this part and I am going to write that this is equal to c so now we will integrate term by term integration 1 by x dx plus integration what is it y cube divided by x raised to 4 dx is equal to c right so integration now of 1 upon x as everybody knows this is log x now we are doing integration with respect to x so y will be a constant so you can take x raised to 4 in the numerator that means what you can do is write like this integration y cube x raised to minus 4 dx is equal to c so by using basic laws of integration log x right integration of x raised to minus 4 is going to be x raised to minus 3 divided by minus 3 so this integral value becomes minus y divided by 3 x cube is equal to c now we have as such obtained the solution to the given differential equation only I am going to do one more step and that is just a small simplification step so I will cross multiply this log x with a constant term I will write it like this 3 log x minus then this is y cube of course y cube then minus y divided by x whole cube is equal to 
this 3 is being multiplied over here but we are not writing like 3c and all that because 3c c plus c c minus c every uh, c minus any other term of c all these will be constant so therefore we will just write over here simply we will write just c and that becomes the solution of the inexact differential equation which was given to us right so that's the solution of the inexact differential equation so you are once again uh, asked to go back to any part of the video to see if you have not followed or understood anything now we will do one more example so the second example which we are doing the given equation is like this x cube y square plus x dy plus x square y cube minus y dy so we will continue with the solution of this equation in the next video thank you